Hey, it's Joseph here. Today I have a package that I want to open up. I'm quite excited for it. So let's go ahead and do that. Please tear here. So inside of the box, that's all you see. Big box and a small box. This is Insta 361 R Twin Edition. So to tell you the truth, I have had Insta 361 X, which is a previous version of this camera and I use it in conjunction with Metaport to do site surveys and 3D scanning which I kind of introduced on my other video which I'll leave a link in the description for you guys to check that out too but actually that camera was my previous company's asset so I have to kind of return it so I have to invest my own and I decided to go with the newer version of the camera although it is not currently supported by metaport so i can't use it for very same reason but i can still do meaningful 360 photos the panoramic photos with this and additional capabilities is that this can actually do 4k video and with the really good stabilization that this camera has i'm hoping to use that as sort of i guess vlog style video and when i do go on some sort of travel when this self isolation quarantine days are over then i can do the travel series a lot easier with this camera so i can swap out certain part of the camera so it is comprised of three different parts one is the camera and the other is a cpu or calculation module and supposedly the bottom part is battery based on my research well we're about to find out let's go ahead and open it so here on the front it has picture of the camera and perhaps some example shots and the functions that it has on the side come on all right so there it is so let's go ahead and take this one out so this is a lens and this is the core portion where it has a little display on it and then that is 360 lens so that's a 4k lens and i suppose you can detach it somehow i don't want to force it oh there you go so as easy as that is i can just put it together and you can turn it both sides so so i can do it like this where the lens and the screen is both facing you and i suppose you have to attach the battery base which is this one here i do not think that i'm doing this correctly because oh okay so there you go it's put together and i suppose i'll have to peel this off and then this one here too Pretty small, pretty neat. I can actually compare it with DJI Osmo Action. It is slightly bigger, as you can see, and the screen isn't as big as DJI Osmo Action, but it has swappable body. All right, it doesn't have like the quarter inch thread, so I suppose I need the case. And I see a little door here. Let's see what that is. So I see USB-C there and then micro SD card slot there. I heard that this is actually like waterproof as well. So I'm hoping that this can get wet without actually getting damaged. I'll confirm it certainly before I dunk it in the water or stay out in the rain. Okay, let's open up the other side. If I can somehow get this out. All right, box inside of the box bunch of sticker I guess that's a case paperwork and microfiber cloth which I'm not gonna take out I'll have to read manual later on but for now it stays in the box I don't need the sticker so it stays in the box desiccant for lens mod if you plan on using 1R in humid environments or in any environment where there's a large temperature difference the storage environment please seal your lens mod in this resealable bag together with the included desiccants for at least 12 hours in advance. So you use this to make sure there's no humidity or moisture. Okay. All right, so here is the case that goes around the camera. And then that is a lens cap for 360 lens unit. 
nice. That wasn't included on the One X. It has a neoprene case which you just slide it on and it was quite cumbersome to use it. I actually bought something was very similar to this to protect the 360 lens because it protrudes out. You can't put it down in any way, especially that One X camera. So you need that sort of rubbery cap, which was very useful. I'm glad that they have included that too. And I guess this is like the GoPro type mount where it's going to mount onto the case and then it receives quarter inch thread. Or if you have any other type of fixture on the selfie sticks and such, then you can just directly mount it. In my case, I don't have a tripod with a GoPro mount, so I'm gonna have to use this quarter inch thread adapter. All right. Okay, there's a little slot that I can slide over. What does that do? Does it open? Yes, it indeed opens. And then how do I, oh, there you go. It opens like that and then I can slot it like so. Nice, neat. So it goes in like that and then just cover this back, put it up against it. I don't want to touch the lens. We like figuring things out, not reading the manual, right? So close it. There you go. All right, you can still access the SD card and the cable door and there's gonna be power button and the recording button on top. The back stays clean because I have flipped both of them around to face me. Okay, I guess it is time to look at this one here. Obviously some wire for charging and the data cable, USB-C. I have a bunch of that, so I'm just gonna put it back in and use some others and put that back in. Let's open up 360 lens as well. And the other side as well, there's two of them. Undo that one as well. Let's actually take this case out and install 360 module because I'm probably going to use that most often. So open that, push this over, try not to touch the lens. How do I do that? Okay. And there's a little slider on the battery, which you do that to, that was easy, right? And then pull these apart, just like that. Put down the lens, pick up the other lens. I guess it doesn't matter which way it goes, just like that. So this side has a screen, the other side doesn't. And I wanna look at probably like the back of it. So, oh yeah, I have to put the battery first. So this part goes in, there's a little contact here and I can see the contact down here as well. So, and it doesn't go in. Oh, this is upside down. So this one actually matters which way it goes. All right, so it needs to have these bottom because here is a top that is flush. So again, that in, make sure the feet are lined up and then it just locks in place. All right, obviously the these button has to line up with the case so I'm gonna have to push it this way. It's flush on this side so close that door and then lock it in place. And can I use this on top? It's a bit tight. Is it even meant to do that? You're supposed to use this when it's not on this case. So that's not necessarily a snug fit. Um, I guess this cap is meant to be used when the camera is not in this case. Let's test it. Open it, I'm getting better at this. It's kind of loose. I don't know what's, what's going on. What is it meant to do? Oh, go from the side? Oh, that's what it was. Go from the side. That's what it was. And then that locks in place and do it from the side. That's what it is. There you go. It fits snug. That's nice. I like that. All right, let's get the tripod open. This is much smaller than the one I'm used to. It used to be at least that length for One X version. I don't know how far this extends, but uh, I definitely do need the other feet so I can actually stand on ground. This is gonna wobble. 
significantly if I don't. So I'm gonna get like the three-legged version that I can just have the thread go into. There is a thread, which is a good thing, but for now, this is gonna have to remain as a stick. How do I open this? Oh, I don't need to turn it, just to pull it out. Actually, it's quite short. I was expecting it to be longer than this. I'm probably gonna have to get the longer version, which is the one that I use for 1X. For a short version, that seems good. It's a good arm's length. There's not really a locking mechanism like the other 1X, because 1X, you can turn it and it just locks in place. This one is more of a friction, so it's just a telescoping. I wish there was a case for this to keep this thing safe. Okay, so that was the unboxing of Insta360 ONE R. Obviously, I'm gonna have to turn it on and test this, but the primary usage that I have planned out for this camera is that when it is the 4K lens module, I can use it as an action cam, as a secondary camera. I have a good camera that always shoots well, but it's kind of stationary. I can't really mount onto the ceiling. I kind of want like the overhead view sometimes too. So I want smaller camera that I can easily mount or carry around. Phone doesn't necessarily do that all that well because it's bigger and it doesn't have as many mounting mechanism that's available. So I'm gonna use this camera for that specific purpose and for 360 panoramic pictures and maybe 3D scan if Metaport decide to open that door. They did say they're working on it Although I kind of understand Metaport is slow at times, so I don't know if that is gonna come around anytime soon, especially for the seasons like this. So I'm gonna have to wait and find out, but for now, I can still go and do 360 panoramic capture. So real estate photography or doing site survey, I can still go out, plant this on the middle of the room and just hit a snapshot and that is a whole lot more meaningful than doing a regular photos because you can't really experience the space or understand the space as equal as 360 panoramic views. So I'm still gonna do that. Obviously I need better tripod or monopod than this, but uh, this was the package that I bought. I believe it was a twin package. So as an architectural designer or architect-like person point of view, this will be useful for site surveys and doing panoramic capture of the site. I certainly see the space for real estate photography, although they kind of advertise like travel, trip, action, but I'm sure that is well covered out there. I wanna focus more on like the architectural AEC environment. So the usage of this camera is to come. However, I just wanted to do a quick unboxing since I was very excited to have this here and i hope that was useful if you have liked please like this video and subscribe to my channel for future contents like this and thank you so much for watching as always i'll see you next time bye